A man and his two children have escaped serious injury after ploughing into a house in Perth South East. Their car smashed through three walls of a home, narrowly missing a woman inside. There was a 65-year-old mother standing in that room 30 seconds before this car slammed into it. The Mitsubishi Outlander crashing through three walls of the Kelmscott home just before 2 o'clock this afternoon. I've seen the car just come from a corner and drove straight into the house here and then I've seen a big dust explosion. It sounded like a bomb going off. The homeowner was in the kitchen making lunch when she heard the car barrel through her front room. She was in the kitchen only metres from um, where, where the brickwork was land. So, um, yeah, she was very lucky to not been hit. She'd come out here and she was crying against the wall. Neighbours rushed to help after hearing her screams. Alan Bliss pulled the driver and his primary school-aged son and daughter from the car buried in the home. Was it pretty confronting to see that? Uh, for the kids, yeah, 100%, yeah. Because in the game with the scream, you didn't know who was at the front of the car. That was the worst part. The little boy, he had a big, like, uh, like, a, like a super rush going down here and down here. And the girl had one going down here and she busted her elbow on the door. Their father also suffered a leg injury. Nine News has been told the driver and his two children had travelled to Perth from Bunbury to be with family for Christmas, but instead are now in hospital. It's not yet clear how the accident happened, but police are investigating. He was completely oblivious. Sort of, he was trying to ask if you could reverse out. I'm going, no, nah, mate, you've got a, you know, there's a house on your bonnet. Firefighters say the damage bill could reach $100,000. Meanwhile, emergency crews were also called to an incident in Mosman Park where a car smashed into a home's front wall. Police say the driver, a man in his 50s, suffered a medical episode at the wheel. Hannah Sinclair, Nine News.